Hello and welcome to Infinity. Let's do a little bit of painting on pictures. And it's a very simple. All you do is you get yourself a new pixel layer. And I'm going to paint on here, which is going to make an effect here. Well, the first colour you can paint is, is you can paint in black and white. And uh, your opacity is going to be pretty low. I uh, can play with that and hardness. Um, yeah, lowish, but very much depending upon what you want to do. A very soft brush can be useful a lot of the times because it's just not noticeable. So I'm going to paint along here. Well, I'm just painting in white. You can see here uh, that's a fairly white area. I want to paint much more on that. I'll paint elsewhere. And maybe I can paint a bit of white up here. So when you paint white at low levels you just make things brighter and things like rivers can often do with a little bit more white. You can play with the blend mode here. So uh, one of the lighter modes probably. Just go through them so it looks like. It's not screen. It's very little subtle differences and uh, see what they work. But sometimes just normal blend mode is enough, particularly when you're doing just a little bit of lightning. You can, uh, what I generally do is I'll use a new pixel layer for every colour, unless I'm kind of in a hurry and feeling a bit, yeah, uh, whatever. But so I can get black, I can do sort of add a bit of darkness up into the sky. You can select the area if you want to be a bit more careful with this. Yeah, maybe paint down the end of a house, something like that. But then also, let's put another layer on. You can start painting other areas and you can change the brush as well. So if you go to brushes and down here, you can actually loads of brushes. So if I go to a texture brush, then something like this one here, let's make that somewhat bigger. But as the brush gets bigger, if you notice here that it's changing where this is going. If you want to check out a brush, just go to File, New, and just something new temporarily. Get the brush, and if you haven't got a layer here, you're going to need a layer to paint on. And then you can see what's happening here. See how see, that's what the brush looks like. And if you want to check out further what's going on here, go to More, and here this will tell you things like the size of the brush, um, how much it accumulates and so on. When you've got something like this, a short band there, it's because of the dynamics of it. It's giving you the jitter range. So in other words, it kind of varies a bit. So the accumulation jitter here is very high, which means it goes, it can vary up and down that amount and so on. Okay. So let's go back to the picture. And we'll just start picking colours. So I got a colour here. And if I want to emphasise green here, then I need to get the opposite of green, put next to it, make the green look greener. But also there's a lot of yellow in here. So somewhere between yellow and green, if I could paint on the river, that might be a, a way of adding a bit of colour to that and emphasising that. So between green and yellow is somewhere around here, and opposite up there is a, a violet colour. If you're painting very gently, remember you're on a separate layer here, so I'll bring down the size of the pixel. You can see I'm painting here and it's that's a quite a lot there, because I have the brushes here at 100%. So I can just pull down this layer here and just turn it up a little bit so you can hardly see the difference. But because it's adjacent to green, I mean the green yellow, it will emphasize that. You can also on a new layer, just pick some green, or maybe let's just pick some yellow, or maybe in between, and then make the brush a bit bigger. I can paint on here. You can see that's bringing that out a lot. Again, that's because I got a 100% uh, opacity here. Should really do something else. Click one there and shift click down the other end here, and it'll draw the complete line. And then just pull back the opacity to having brighten that up a bit. I could even do, say, maybe a bit in the trees here. For buildings, a little bit of red or purple or something like that. Surprising what the colours, so again, somewhere in between, so maybe a rose colour between red 
and magenta. And let's go back to a normal brush for this. So brushes, basic brush, like here, make this a bit bigger. You can see that pretty red. I'm going to take this all the way very low down here. So you can see there's just a little bit of difference there. And uh, is that on a new layer? No, I just need another new layer for that. You can label it. See, that's still a bit red here. So I'll just change the blend mode of that down to, what does that do? Yeah, see that's a little bit more. Mm, no, I think that's just a little bit too much. Let's change the colour. Just undo if, you, if I, you're near enough the step. So I'll take within here, I'll take that a, a greyer red there. And just hover it over the top. Yeah, that's a bit better. There, maybe a bit more towards the black. You can even put it onto a bit of the stonework here. So stonework will often take a little bit of magenta and those colours there. And again, you might need to drop the opacity again. Or maybe change the blend mode down to maybe soft light. Yeah, that's better. So it's hardly notable. It's just pulling it out slightly pinkish flavour to it. You can also put magenta into skies. So I could get that up there again. New layer. Uh, maybe just a bit of magenta up here. Saying it's hardly noticeable, but it just pushes the colours around. And a colour somewhere will make the colours next to it look like a different contrast. So there we go. Look at all this lot here. And it's before and after. Before and after. You're getting something quite different there. Anyway, that's the idea. Often it's good just to have fun. You can always go back as well. You can take out any of these. You can label them as you go along as well. But that is uh, how you can go about painting on pictures. That's it. And thank you very much for watching.